Today I will be looking at the BenQ Piano Light. You can adjust it all kind of ways. Bring it towards you. You can tilt it up and down like that. Left and right. Situate it any old way you like. The on off button is right there in the middle. And now there's some controls. You can adjust the brightness right here. So now it's all the way full peak brightness. Now I'm going to dim it down slowly until it gets to the lowest level. There's the lowest level. Now this is what it would look like at night, like if this was the only light on in the room. So let's dim it down with that. That's how that looks. This setting here you can use to change the color temperature. There's six different settings. So I'm warming it up. And now at night, this is how it would look. The warmest temperature there, kind of a yellowish look. And this button is the presence detection button. So when you first press it, it there's a sensor right there. It, it'll calibrate for about 30 seconds. And then if it doesn't detect any movement within 10 minutes, it'll automatically cut off. And you just wave your hand in front of it and it'll cut back on. This button is the auto dimmer button. There's another sensor, a separate sensor on top. And this will detect how much ambient light is in the room. So sun's shining through the window, you're using your keyboard a long time. And it's detecting it's brighter in the room than it, than it was an hour ago. It'll dim the light down automatically to adjust for it. And then this button is the My Favorite button. So you can find a setting you like, the right color temperature you prefer, intensity level. And then you press that uh, My Favorite button, hold it in for a few seconds. It'll blink and then it'll remember the setting. So now any changes you make, if you want to recall that favorite button, the favorite setting, just hit the button and it'll recall it. Comes with this little plastic visor that I kind of like. It helps to block out some of the, the bleed from the light back into your eyes. It, it helps a little bit. I like it. And the weight of this thing is about 10 pounds. It's got some heft to it, nice and stable. Feels quality. Down at the bottom, the base, we've got a nice rigid, rigid foam pads. The power cord is about seven and a half feet long. Got the adapter at the end. Uh, I put mine on this Rockville speaker stand. The light is actually made for an upright piano, but I don't use that. I, I have a keyboard, so I gotta have something for it to sit on. So I use this little speaker stand. You could use this plant, plant stand or something like that. But yeah, I really like this light a lot. It's expensive, but it's it's worth it, I will say. So go out and get yourself something nice and enjoy life.